If you had information that could be life-changing for someone, maybe information that even would save their life, but you decided to keep it to yourself, how tragic would that be? John tells us in Revelation, anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. I personally do not believe anyone would choose to spend eternity in utter darkness and torment. However, based on this verse in Revelation, the answer to the question, does God send people to hell, would seem to be yes. In this video, I will be using quite a few scriptures because it's very important for you to understand the information that is in the Bible that can save your life. Now, let us imagine that you are a passenger on a plane that is going to crash. The pilot tells you to take a parachute, put it on, and jump out of the plane. But for whatever reason, you decide that you don't believe the parachute will work, or you do not believe the plane is even going to crash. Then the inevitable happens, and the plane crashes, and you perish. Is it the pilot's fault you chose not to take the parachute? Or, you are on a boat that is sinking. The crew brings you to the lifeboats and instructs you to get on before the boat sinks. You decide not to climb into the lifeboat because you think you can save yourself another way. The boat sinks eventually, and you with it. Is it the crew's fault you chose not to get into the lifeboat? Or perhaps you go to the doctor and are diagnosed with very high blood pressure. The doctor prescribes you medication, but you refuse to take it. And not too long after, you end up dying from a stroke. Is it the doctor's fault you died, or was your death due to your choice? See, in the beginning, God created everything, and it was perfect. His creation was one with him. But unfortunately, due to the choices of Adam and Eve in the garden, this changed the course of humanity. Sin entered the world and separated us from God. Paul writes in Romans, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And also, for the wages of sin is death. Because of the sin in our lives, the Bible tells us we need a Savior, because we do not and cannot live up to God's standard. But the Bible also shows us who that Savior is. Matthew writes, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And in Romans, But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And the most famous scripture in the Bible, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. So if someone chooses not to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, dies, and ends up in hell, did God send that person to hell, or was it the person's choice by not believing in the Son of God? Furthermore, hell was not even created for people. It was created for the devil and the fallen angels that rebelled against God. Jesus said in Matthew, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Not only was hell not created for us humans, but Jesus' heart is for all to come to him for salvation. Paul wrote in 1 Timothy, This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And Peter wrote, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So how can we be saved? Luke writes in Acts, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Now really listen to what Paul writes in the book of Romans. If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. It is in our sinful human nature to pursue our own way and not God's. But if you have been rejecting God, rejecting Jesus, rejecting the Bible, I plead with you to reconsider God and really start searching for the truth about Jesus and his love for you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus loves you, and he is standing with open arms ready to embrace you into his family. Simply repent from your sins and put your trust and faith in Jesus. Our only hope to save us from an eternity in hell is to believe in the parachute, the lifeboat, the great physician that God sent us which is Jesus Christ. Will you finally choose Jesus today? Dear God, thank you for giving us life. 
Thank you for all the blessings and provisions you have provided for us. Please be with those who have yet to believe in Christ Jesus. Please protect them from the lies of the enemy, and may their eyes finally be open to the truth of who you are and how much you desire a relationship with them. I know you are an amazing God, and I pray that others will come to this knowledge as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.